Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, February the 2nd, 2015, and this is episode 2514. Today we continue our discussion about prayer, and specifically today, prayer in the life of Solomon. My name is Bruce Turner, and I bring you greetings from our home here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Thank you for joining me this morning. In 1 Kings chapter 3 and verse 3, we read, And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statutes of his father David, except that he sacrificed and burned incense at the high places. Now the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. Solomon offered a thousand burnt offerings on the altar. At Gibeon the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night and said, Ask what I shall give you. And Solomon said, You have shown great mercy to your servant David my father, because he walked before you in righteousness and truth and and uprightness of heart. You have continued this great kindness for him, and you have given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. Now, O Lord my God, you have made your servant king instead of my father David, but I am a little child. I do not know how to go out or come in. Your servant is in the midst of your people whom you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to be numbered or counted. Therefore, give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people, that I may discern between good and evil, for who is able to judge this great people of yours? The speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. Then God said to him, Because you have asked this thing, and have not asked long life for yourself, nor have asked riches for yourself, nor have asked the life of your enemies, but you have asked for yourself understanding to discern justice. Behold, I have done according to your words. See, I have given you a wise and understanding heart, so that there has not been anyone like you before you, nor shall anyone like you arise after you. And I have also given you what you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be anyone like you among the kings all your days. So if you walk in my ways, to keep my statutes and my commandments as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. Solomon asked for wisdom. He asked for an understanding heart. When's the last time you asked God for wisdom? Oh, we talk to God about a lot of things. And a lot of those things are important things, worthy things. Praying for health and wellness for friends and family who are dealing with illness. That's a worthy thing. Praying for God's provision for various and sundry things. But I want you to consider the importance of having the priority of asking God for wisdom and understanding. I have a feeling that if we prayed more for wisdom and understanding, and God does promise to give that, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God who gives liberally to all men. I have a feeling that if we asked more for wisdom and understanding, 
than other things, we we would not be needing to ask God to clean up the messes that we often make. John Owen said this about prayer. He said, if we do not abide in prayer, we will abide in temptation. Let this be one aspect of our daily intercession. God, preserve my soul and keep my heart and all its ways so that I will not be entangled. When this is true in our lives, a passing temptation will not overcome us. We will remain free while others lie in bondage. Listen to the first part of that again. If we do not abide in prayer, we will abide in temptation. Father, thank you for the wisdom that you offer to us freely if we were but asked. Give us an understanding heart, Lord, to see what it is that we need to do in our lives, how we would relate to others. And help us, Lord, to abide in prayer so that we would not abide in temptation. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Thanks for joining me today. As the music plays out, take this opportunity to ask God for wisdom and understanding for this day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.